everyone and welcome. The languages in the world, the most languages that are spoken around the world, English comes to number one with 1.4 billion people speaking it. A lot of people. Then comes Chinese and with 1.1 billion, Hindi in India, they have 600 million. Spanish comes next at 580 million. Arabic, beautiful Arabic, 430 million. The language of the Quran for Muslims, beautiful language. Recite the, re the recitation of the, the Quran, hearing it being recited, it's beautiful. Then comes French, French, which is spoken in France, some countries in Europe like Switzerland, Belgium, and in Canada also like uh, Quebec. And there are some countries in Africa like Algeria, Morocco, Tunisia, go down, go down Africa, you find more countries. Bengali, 265 million. Bangladesh, that's what they speak it. That's what they speak it. We have Portuguese. Portuguese, they speak it in Brazil and they speak it also in Portugal. Russia, with 258 million. And then there is a number 10, Urdu. It's spoken mainly in Pakistan. These are the 10. And top of them all, English. Why? How is that? Here's I show you the structure of the English language, how it does. The structure of the English language, they have nouns, verbs, adjectives, and adverbs. These are, that's what the vocabulary, that's where you get your bag and carry it, put your brain, put as many words as you can of vocabulary in your head to memorize in order to speak the language. Put them in the, as nouns, as verbs, as adjectives and verbs. Those four. Now comes the rest of them which is like uh, pronouns, prepositions, conjunctions, interjections, articles, determiners, uh, phrases, uh, clauses, syntax, and tense and aspects. These are all uh, these are there is so many so many of those, so many of those numbers more number, conjunctions Interjections, there are only a few. Oh, ouch, etc. That's interjections. Then you have articles that are only three the, a, a, n, the, the definite, the non definite. And then determiners, also, they have only a few. Phrases, well, the phrase that are uh, noun phrases, they are verb phrases, they are preposition of phrases. Phrases, just a few words together. And you have clauses, these are uh, statements, small ones, some of them are complete, some of them not, uh, dependent or independent, etc. Syntaxes, which is, they decide, that's the, these are the rules how to govern the statements, to make them into questions or to make them, uh, uh, if they are not questions, that means they have to be negative, etc. And the tenses, of course, you talk about the past and the present in different aspects like the simple present, the, the continuous and the perfect and perfect continuous, etc. That's the English. With this, this is, this is a language that is spoken with one four billion. In order to learn it, learn how to read, read and read some more. By reading, you get there. Well, thank you for listening and Jazakum Allahu Khair. Wassalamu alaikum. Thank you.